Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Two Point Hospital. We've either got to start, I think actually it's not going to hurt to have someone training up from base level, but what I will do is I'll get rid of you, and I'll get rid of you, and I'll get rid of you, and I will get rid of you. So we've got to wait 13 days before I can bring anyone else in, so I will wait a few days to allow some more of them to come in. Like that, but there is head office ready and waiting. I've just got to get some people in and train. More GPs would be nice as well. If I can get a few extra GPs in and trained. I just want to wait for that training course to finish. And then we will see... Quite sure whether I should do more Treatment 3. The Treatment 3 does seem like it would be a useful thing to have on other people. Oh. Tech correspondent Alan Dongle here. A local hospital has developed a treatment for Turtle Head called the Turbo Plunger. It should allow all those shy patients to finally come out of their shelves. <laughs> all the shy patients. What is that? Oh, there's stuff on the docks, isn't it? I wonder what those were. Okay, staff promotion. Fredwood Derp is ready for promotion from nurse to senior nurse. So we can promote you up. And there's probably going to be more because we're just finishing up our training course over here. And that's why he's been promoted. And there's another one right there. She is able to be promoted up like that. Doctor to junior doctor. And there is treatment level three all finished. So let's go back over this way and go to my staff and have a look in here. First, I want nurses. So Fredward Derp does have more training available and he is able to work anywhere that requires treatment. Not in wards though. I've got level 2 wards. I mean, pretty good with the, the treatment thing that he's got on here is actually pretty good. Can we go level 4 treatment? Is that even... I don't think that's a thing. So as I, I don't believe that's a thing, I, I will just leave that. We can get level 3 for the wards. So Sebastian Noir over there could have level 3 on the wards, which would probably help out a bit. Diagnostics 3 over there. We can't get Diagnostics 4 on you. Not just yet. So Treatment 4. There's a possibility for Treatment 4 right there. And GP level 4 as well. Uh, no, D Grunt is not ready for more training. There are you. It would be you. Uh, D Barton is ready for training. None of the others are actually ready for training. Oh, Lola McGuffin is ready for training. Uh, level 2. GP level 2, and I wanted a treatment doctor as well, didn't I? So let's go back to higher treatment doctor and a GP doctor. I'm going to take both of these. Funny, green fingers, one-handed backhand. Oh. Okay, interesting. Uh, oh. I'll take you, and our money is getting quite low. Higher, I want another one because I want to get oh. another GP oh. surgery up and running, and I want specialist GPs. So we will take you, and then I'm going to take this one over here, and I'm going to copy another GP room. So we've got four GP rooms. Yes, I know that that might be too many, but I'm actually quite happy to risk it, because I've now got sufficient doctors that we will be able to use for all of that. So we go back into our staff over here, and we will... Look, we've got two more doctors in here. So you... Uh, not going to be treating anything in there. You are a treatment doctor, so you're not going in there. Tommy Legend is stopping right where he is. I'm going to train Tommy next, I think. Uh, you're ready for training, and you're ready. Okay, GP level 2 for both of those doctors. That's the next training that we will do. I go GP level 2. And because I've got 54 grand at the moment, I will... Oh, wait a minute. We've got treatment level 4. We can do treatment level 4. If we wanted to. Right, it's good to know that we've got treatment level 4. But it's general practice 2 that I want at the moment. And then I've got these two trainees right here that we're going to take in for it. And then I can either pull out one of my own doctors or we can just go like that. 
start training. Right, there's 30 grand to go and do that. So we get both of those doctors go in and have their training. Hospital isn't covering costs. So yes, I have just gone and spent a little bit of money on some of it. Hospital is in debt. We should consider taking out a loan. No, we don't need to. We don't need to do any of that. Various things are going well now. Let's go and have a look at these lists. Right, you can go up there. Uh, that one can move up and that one can move up. And then you down there, you haven't got a hope of surviving long enough to actually get treatment. But uh, we'll move you up anyway. Just just in vain, vain hope that it might work. Put you up there like that. Put some of these on up a little bit further. Ralph, you come down a little bit. Okay, right. That one will do just fine over there. We've got this lot in here. You need to move up. You need to move up the list. Uh, you lot definitely need to start moving up these lists. This is this is this is absolutely terrible down here. Sue Sandals, Julia Wizard. Yeah, I'm going to pause this a second so that I can quickly move these around and get them better mixed to where they're supposed to go. This is really difficult to make sure that everybody has the correct queue, uh, the correct place in the queue as well. Because the doctors in this hospital just don't seem to care, do they? Let's be honest. The doctors in this hospital have, have, have gone past the point where they actually care. That'll do for that one. And then we can move on over to here. It's terrible, isn't it? it it's absolutely terrible the way that our doctors are in this hospital. They, they are absolutely awful. I'll jump, jump, I'll jump you up to there. Okay, turtle head, we need diagnosis certainty is 0%. So I've got to start bumping these people up. You've got to go above that one because the health is 20%. But we need to start keeping an eye on any turtle head patients because they're taking so long to get diagnosed that they're not getting through the system properly. So like you right there, Donald Mason, there's some critical patients here. You've got to go below those, but we'll we'll slot you in like that. And then over this side, have I got any? Uh, there's none on that queue. Uh, this one here, you are low, so you're actually going to need to go above Sue Sandals right there, despite her rather poor health. And we're just going to have to hope that this might work. Now, special report. We cured two out of four patients. And we have Beryl Cosmic, who is ready for promotion. Right. Beryl, there we go. You have been promoted. That is that mean that the... Oh, no. This one's not been finished yet. I got those two. Right. Minus 14 grand. We've not done very much yet. These two are just about finished. 97%. And then we get more training. Okay. General practice level two is now complete. So then we can go into here. General practice one. Treatment level four. I've already got treatment level four now available. Surgery level two now available. Ward management three now available. These are all things that I want. Research level two. Oh, I haven't got any money. Right, well, let's leave that for a minute. All personalized artwork should be tasteful and above board. Hospital attractiveness of 70%. What is it at the moment? 57%. I suppose I might be able to do that. And I always keep taking these things and never bother to do anything about them. Maybe I should. Maybe I should seriously consider actually doing something about it. One thing that I would like to do something about is getting some training for my research doctor. Uh, training level 2 is what I'd like. 26,000 on there. So we're going to go into here and we're going to go training for research next. There. Trainers available is that one, and trainer, uh, trainee, sorry, is that dude right there. There we go. Training is being done. I've got ghosts over here. Ghosts are fine. Wait. Wait, we missed the turtle head. Oh, this is terrible. Right, let's have a look at our cues. And Oh, I'll tell you what we do need to do. Oh, I, I'm minus. I was going to say we need some benches, but we can't do that for a minute. Uh, have we got anybody who looks like they've got turtle head? Right, turtle head, 
We've not had much luck with even getting them diagnosed. You, right there, you look like you're... Right, Donald Mason is second in the queue, so we're going to have to keep an eye on Donald Mason. He's first in the queue right now. Got a GP's appointment right there. We've got a level three GP over there, which I'm hoping is going to help. So now he is GP's. He's just been called into the room. In he goes. I know, I got a publicity update. 500 research points. Sophie Nova has sent us a email to thank us. She used the word brilliant five times and says she hasn't stopped working since. Bungle are sending us some of their research. Great job, boss. Ha <laughs> ha! Fantastic! Right, you, dude, right in here. Appointment in the ward. Straight up to position one in the queue. Get into the ward over here. Yeah, if, apparently if we cure our patients, it's going to help. Okay, you, in the bed. He's got his, he's, he's got his uh, appointment in the ward over here. I get paid to announce, not to hear you complain. Right, we're minus 70 grand at the moment. Staff promotion. Doctor, is Tommy Legend is ready for promotion. Promote. That means he's done his research. Yeah, it just said there. He's done his research. That's that's fine. We'll promote him again in a minute. Right, we've now got another appointment in the GP's office. He's feeling thirsty. There's an appointment in the GP's office. That is going to be bumped all the way up to position one in the queue. His diagnosis is now much more certain. Right, we've had two lots. But you can see it's quite difficult to get any of these people diagnosed. This is why we need the specialist diagnosis as well. It's, it's more difficult to get them done. He's heading. Needs a toilet. He's too cold. Still needs a toilet. Queuing. This advertisement has been removed due to a dispute between Two Point Radio and the producer of Jumbo Nuts. Oh, wait, hang on. You shouldn't actually say Jumbo Nuts. Can we do another, can we do another take? Okay, <laughs> great. Estimated this chance to cure. Radio. Right, he's, he's in the queue. And he's actually now, like, his, his health is high enough that he should be alright. Well, I'm not sure if we should be watching him while he's sitting on the loo. I, I, feel, I feel bad watching him while he's sitting on the loo. He did wash his hands. At least he washed his hands. Dry them off. He's very happy. Surgery emergency coming in. Yes, Patient absolutely. Now arriving. Turtle head, bored, he's called into the room. I've got a doctor over Mentions here needed. at last. Here we go, we're going to see it's working. Turbo plunger, it goes up. Okay, this this looks serious. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> what? How has that treatment failed? It worked. His head is out! Don't... Oh, you have got to be kidding me! You have absolutely got to be kidding me. Okay, I've got another GP over here. This diagnosis in here. You go in and go up to that one. This, this needs to work. I've got patients dying all over the place. I need to pay more attention to other people. Go, go, go. You've been called into the room. We need to cure you. I want to see a cure. Oh, there they are. There they are. They're in here. I'm going to go on to there. And in we come. <laughs> yes! Upside down and pop out ahead. There we go. Is this... Please... Yes! Yes, it worked at last. We have got someone who's been cured. There is the second patient who's been cured. There is another turtle head over there. And their diagnosis is way down. They're going up to the top of the queue. Announcement. Please don't compare treatment prices online. <laughs> don't compare treatment prices online. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, minus 30 grand at the moment. And I should really start doing some more juggling on these queues. Right, that queue there is all healthy people. And there is nobody with turtle head on there either. This queue over here is relatively healthy people. You could bump up the queue a little bit 
Uh, leave that one pretty much like that. Down through this queue, there's nobody with a turtle head on there. Penelope Steele definitely needs to be taken to the top of the list, although I doubt she's going to make it. You need to go to there. And that one is fine. And then we want to come over here. You've only got seven people on this queue. Uh, but they're a little bit more serious. Could be that everybody that was on the queue has already died, which is which is really not good. You don't want everybody on your queue to your GP's office. Like, you you don't want to have the reason that your GP's office queue is low is because everybody that was on the waiting list has died before they got there. That's that's not a good thing. That's that's not a positive step. Please right? these toilets as you would hope to find them. Not as you'd expect to find them. <laughs> I love that one. Uh, we have got staff promotion. Right there. We can promote you and keep you happy. I'm hoping that we can get some more... Uh, not uh, Some treatment for would be quite good. We've got a patient there that has been treated. And we haven't yet got a surgeon over this side. We need a surgeon up over here. Staff challenge. Get a level 4 injection room. I could do that. That's one thing I can actually do. Look, I've got... Inj injection room is currently busy being used. He looks a tad uncomfortable in there. Does he look a bit uncomfortable to you? He looks uncomfortable to me. Uh, this room in here, we've got jab master. No, that is what I want to do. Injection room. Uh, edit. Right, we're on prestige level 3. We want to boost this prestige up a bit, don't we? So we're going to need posters and pictures. That's what we're going to need. Posters and pictures in here. In order to boost that up. Let's bring you round over this side. I can't put it above there, but I can put one above there. Now, I know that actually it's like gold records and awards and things like that that give us the most prestige. Gold records are good. Jasmine Odyssey photos are really good as well. Anything along those lines are absolutely fantastic if we can fit them in here. Let's try putting you on. What about on here? Right, I can put that one on there. Jasmine Odyssey can go right into that corner where a normal poster wouldn't be able to. We'll put one up there. And there is a level four room. Okay, done. Thank you very much. Staff challenge accepts. Staff challenge done. We're all really happy with it. Right, I'm hoping that that counted as treatment successful on there. Staff promotion again. Let's go and do that. I've now got 30, 31 grand. For a minute, I thought the money had all disappeared. Psychiatry level three was something that I wanted to do. Research level three. Treatment level four. I've got two trainees for that one. I've got three people for treatment three. Surgery 3, Surgery 2. I can't remember exactly what I said I wanted to do. So we'll go and have a look in here. Job assignments. We're not yet ready for two more GPs on level 3. What about our surgeons? I've got three surgeons at the moment. You're a backup surgeon. You can't be promoted any further. I can get Surgery level 3 for normal. Up there, which would be really nice. Surgery level 2 for D. Barton. That would be really awesome. We don't have surgery level 2 available for anybody else. But surgery level 2 on D. Barton would actually be quite a useful thing. Or treatment. Either that or treatment. Allows a doctor to work in surgery. Staff with this qualification. Uh, level 2 is plus 20% treatment skill in surgery. So it's a specialist surgeon. So maybe I should get in another doctor that can be a specialist surgeon and have her level 3 general treatment. So she's a backup for surgery at the moment. What have we got in the way of hiring doctors? I've got a surgeon there who can go to surgery level 2 immediately. Charlotte Pye. You're, yeah, but you're diagnosis, aren't you? That's, that's not a really very useful thing. Okay, let's let's get rid of all of those. We will see if we can get some more back in a few days. So that's not going to do. It's not going to be. It's not going to be useful. So we uh, surgery level three. I said I was thinking about uh, level three, didn't I? Let's go and have a look in here. My surgeons level three for normal dabble. 
might be the one that we want to do for a minute. And then D. No, I'll go level 2 for D for a minute. I think that's going to be all right. So we'll go level 2 surgery for D. Where's surgery level? Level 2 surgery right there. Trainers, we will call in. And you right there. D and start training. So we've got level 2 surgery. I think that's going to be something that's going to help us out quite a bit. Uh, even if we don't get all the rest of it done. View. What are we going to get this time? Definitely not the no deaths. We've had that. Well, we, we've at least had it. Open all. Nice. Hospital of the year. Best research hospital. We've got everything except for the no deaths. This, this is actually starting to look quite good. Now, leaderboards in here. We're level four. Hospital value. Over half a million now. Level 2 on cure rates, which is really good. Reputation, we are at the top. Staff morale, we are getting much better on that one. Cures per year is climbing and yearly profits, not very good. Overall, though, I'd say that we, we have reason to be proud. Deaths, yeah, that's, that's not really going to change very much anytime soon, though, is it? Not unless I... Like, uh, and even then, like, it doesn't seem... I really seem to struggle with the whole death thing. Right, deaths, I'm, I'm really not doing that. What, what are you waiting for? Pipe organs. you position three. You need to go to position one in the queue. You've got to be position one in the queue, and I need you to get into surgery pretty quick. Right. Are they going to go to surgery now? Rolando, you should be... You're 6% health. i got another person over here who looks like they've also got pipe organs needed to be treated. 4% health for Rolando. He's been called into the room. Is he going to get there before he drops down dead? 3%. Right, he's got there. He's he's made it to the room. This, this is a step in the right direction. This is definitely a step in the right direction. Now, what about you? You are surgery. You also need to be moved to the top of the queue because otherwise you're going to drop down dead. Don't want people dropping down dead. Staff challenge, hospital attractiveness. No, we didn't. we weren't able to do that. That one was that one was not able to be done. So what about you, your floppy disks? Uh, yeah, you're not going to make it. Round up. The suit today is and down they go. Special report: We cured three out of four patients. Training Today's course for surgery to two. good manners is one that is dear to my heart. How to greet one's betters? Well, I for one would prefer you to bow, even kneel if you're up to it. Make no eye contact unless encouraged to do so. Also, do not forget that my first name is Sir. If all that is too much to remember, just don't greet me at all. <laughs> Bow or kneel, if you're going to greet me. Mortals, minions, bow or kneel. I, I love this guy. I absolutely love this guy. The arrogance is amazing. Okay, we want to drop you into there. We have got another training course that's going to give you surgery level 3. You are definitely a specialist surgeon from this point in, which is fine by me. We can have some proper specialist surgeons, and you in here, your x-rays are very, very nearly almost done. We've still only treated two patients with turtle head. I'm probably going to have to push a few more of them through in order to uh, make sure that they make it through the diagnosis stage before they get to this stage. Mayoral visit. Mayor Tabitha Winsock is doing the political rounds around the county. Her team of us would like to be a stop on her tour. If she's impressed the hospital, it would be good for our reputation. What do you think? Uh, go for it. I don't see why not. I'm VIP arriving. Yeah. Please prioritise their amusement over patient well-being. <laughs> Please prioritise their amusement over patient well-being. Right, I have started a new recording session here, and I decided what I would do is... Right, well, first up, we need to move you all the way up. There we go. Status heading for Q. Uh, I decided that what I should do is um, just reduce the background noise a little bit, because I feel that it was a little bit high. If it's still too high, then please let me know. Uh, got the uh, sound level slightly miscalculated on that one. Um... 
something I'm considering doing. Right, well, we do need to start a project because we haven't got a project going in here at the moment. We can upgrade these various different ones. We've got the Mega Scan there. I have no idea what that is. Uh, with the discovery of X rays, some scientists speculated on the possible existence of Y rays. Clearly, that's absurd. Idiots. Let's design a, ma a massive magnet and see if it's useful for something. Output Mega Scan. We can upgrade head office, upgrade the x-ray, or do general research. So I will do the mega scan here. What I was thinking is if I can really start to get a load of research done on this one before we leave this area. And right, hang on. Uh, research complete. Good news, we invented an x-ray machine. Now we can not only see through people's clothes, we can actually see inside them. This could be extremely useful for locating lost items and maybe investigating internal injuries. Ben Rampant is ready for promotion from nurse to uh, from junior nurse up to nurse, so we will promote with a pay increase as well. Um, it's been suggested that maybe I should have all of my GPs in the same place, and I should have uh, like some of the other. Uh, a patient is unhappy with the hospital and is storming out. They're bored. I suppose we could put down a bookcase for some patients in here. Let's let's do that a minute. Let's let's um. Let's try to avoid the boredom. I've got that canteen in there, which people can use. So that that's all right. So we'll, we'll put a bookcase in here. And we'll also put a leaflet stand here as well, so that they've got something to go for. And I will get a few more benches as well. I'll put one of those down there. And we'll turn this into a little bit of a waiting room type approach here as well, I think. Get a couple of these down. There we go. So we've got bookcase. We've got that. And we'll get some vending machines here. I know that I have got the um, the canteen just over there. But they, they do seem to like using the vending machines. Now, I've got a bin over there. I'll, make, I'll put another bin because people don't like having to walk very far for a bin. So we'll drop one down there as well. And I think that will do quite nicely. So we've got just slightly improved. Now, there was another thing. Um, well, yeah, uh, the, I should keep all my GP surgeries in one location. I should have surgery and treatment in another location in another building and kind of do it like that. So I'm, I'm not going to do it with this one. I'm going to leave this hospital pretty much laid out as it is because we're fast approaching the end of this. We've cured two patients already. Um, I've got two patients literally about to keel over over there, which is not so good. But we will try to... Uh, do a layout more similar to that in our next hospital, I think. We'll start moving things around a little bit and change things over for our next hospital. Now, the other thing that I wanted to do was illnesses, no, it's not illnesses, overview... Policy. There. Right. Fast track treatment decision. Allow diagnosis staff to send patients directly for treatment when the diagnosis certainty is at or above the diagnosis threshold. The diagnosis threshold for treatment is 90%. So if I tick that one, patients do not need to uh, staff leave rooms when idle. Staff training messages promotes to... No, I don't want to promote staff automatically. Uh, but this one here, that will then allow patients to go straight from being diagnosed to treatment right at the moment what they're doing is they have to go to the doctor and get a confirmation of the diagnosis before they can go for treatment this is not really a very good thing what we'd like them to do is get diagnosis well, you were listening to harrison wolf on two point radio it's the Harrison Wolf Show on Two Point Radio now. But don't worry, I'm just here to change the music every few minutes. <laughs> just here to change the music. Right, we just had a promotion right there. Uh, senior consultant working in GP's office, Dr. D. Grunt. She's ready for some training. I've actually got training slots available over here, so let's have a look. Uh... We've got Diagnostics 3. I've got one person trained in Diagnostic 3 already. Research 3. I think we will get our man in for doing... Well, I think that's quite enough 
care and loving attention inflicted upon the patients from myself for today so we will return next time in the meantime if you have enjoyed this episode then could you please head down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome and until next time thank you very much for watching this is Frithgar goodbye and see you later